flee. Like, what, like yeah. what's that bad to where she's breaking? Like, she broke the table. She cut the couch. STD. One of the ones that you can't get Ooh. rid of. Ooh. Most men, you can go back and like have a list of like good women that you did wrong just based oh, yeah. off of being too young. Well, that's the whole concept. The one that got away is the whole like mm -hmm. concept. All right, what's going on? It's Quinn Young. It's your boy Johnny P. And this is First Listen. So we have uh, Jordan Lucas, J. Cole, Your Heart. What's your, uh, what's your thoughts leading into it? Uh, Cole, you know. Uh, it's your boy Cole, so you know, North Carolina's favorite. So. Mm -hmm. Cole World. Uh, you know, I, I like any new Cole and then Jordan would be spitting, so it'd be an interesting little dynamic. You know. Yeah, um, I guess. I'm interested because the joiner also he doesn't really miss with the videos. Um, that his is videos true. are that always kind of like another tier where it's and Cole doesn't do as many videos facts, as facts, I would facts. like. So you know, get yeah. to see Cole too. And it's two rappers. That, that, that's the thing. I, hopefully they don't really like go in, in some melodic lane or some shit. I, I don't know. We'll kind of see. But um, I mean, they're, they're two elite rap. They're two elite rappers. And I mean, shit. I, I'm interested to see what they're gonna do, for sure. I had uh, had somebody send me the record, so I'm, I'm guessing this shit's fire. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, Jordan Lucas, J Cole, your heart. Push play first. Listen. Let's get it. I broke your heart, huh? You know I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? Oh, shit, damn. Hey, you heard about all that Karen Civil shit, right? With Jonah Lucas? Oh, talking about how she stole some bread from him? Yeah, yeah, but I, I guess, like, Karen I ain't never get the full scoop. I heard, like, I guess, but I get, bro saying it was, like, his last little bit of bread. Yeah, when, like, when he was, like, him. when he was first trying to come up, but I guess it's also just coming up. It was a whole nother nigga that, that went on Breakfast Club and was just shit, saying man. how he, he about to push, I mean, Prosecutor for sure. Oh, like on some like oh, real oh, criminal shit. Serious, serious. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, like she said, she I heard that she a, was shitting on niggas, but I well, ain't she know. was shitting on niggas, but she also was like, like I think with him, he had a blog site and Instagram page that was bringing in like hundreds of thousands of dollars of revenue a month, where uh, she paid a nigga to hack his shit and hack his hack his jumps to where it put him out of business for a couple like a couple months. Oh, damn. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of lost revenue. Ooh. And Ooh. Yeah, that's that's serious. Yeah, but there's been a bunch of people that came out and just kind of said she'd be thugging the industry. It's, 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 it's interesting. I mean, I've, I've heard that. I ain't necessarily yeah. dive into the recent, you know, allegations. Yeah. Or, like, as far as looking to it and nothing. But I've, I've heard that in the past. And, mm -hmm. I mean, I figured, you know, karma would get, you know. You should've listened when it said I was a dog, huh? You should've listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? That's what you thought, huh? I left you scarred, huh? You'll never be the same again, but then I'm God, huh? I took your heart and then I tore that shit apart, huh? I fucked you over, did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, yeah. You said you had me, but I never did your song, yeah. Now you gotta cut it off before we get to this. Yeah. Like, like, you can't, like, yeah, nah. I ain't gonna hold you, I'm probably suing her for that. Call the police, bro. Like, fuck, I'm gonna call the police like, and I'm like, gonna, like, gonna pay for like, all like, that shit. You see what I'm like? Hey, you better get out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, just, nah, that's uncalled for, man. That's 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 not necessary. Nah, because the reality, <laughs> that's like thousands of dollars of damage. Like, yeah, all your clothes, all your shoes. Yeah, but I mean, if you just couch. watching it, I guess you're complicit in it. But yeah, yeah like the yeah. couch, that that's that's a nice little modern nice. couch. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that, man. We ain't you to do the through the shits on the little uh, we too, love seats. We too grown for that, man. Like, yeah, nah. On, it, like, when you when you still in college and you got like cheap you shit, know, it, it's, it, it's an IKEA full time. <laughs> but like, yeah, nah. We too nah, nah, nah. We done paid some money for this. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. You can't be out there doing this shit. Well, I, ain't, like, I ain't rolling. All right, let me take it back a little bit. You can't let nobody do that to you, neither. <laughs> can't. I yeah, feel you. You gotta cut it off before we get to that point, fellas. You know, mental health mental health matters, you know. 
No, that, that, don't, that, that is don't stay these toxic ass relationships just because she cute or you know she lit. You know, hell, and that, that shit and ain't that, worth it, bro. And that's the funny thing. We talk about a lot of toxic masculinity. There is like the toxic feminine, where yeah, shit can get really, really kind of like messy and in that in that same sense where it's a, it's a lot of manipulation that can go on. Yeah. From a woman's side, uh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, as a man, yeah, that, that can't happen, mm -hmm. you know. But as a man, go ahead. the logical, you know, as a logical man, mm -hmm. you got to cut it off before you see yourself getting, you know, boxed in to where you in a toxic ass situation. Like you got to have more awareness of what's going on. Do you think right? that's easier said than done, though? Yes. It definitely is. That's yeah, what, I, I think that's that most I'm talking people about it though. So right, I mean, most, like, <laughs> these, like, you got to at least be like, yeah, well, most hey, people look. like it, it's like the outside perspective is so clear. Like that, that's why it's always easy to give everybody, like, give other people advice. But most people that give really good advice don't really have the capacity to actually follow it because of, there's that's always true. like the personal bias that sits in it. That's where, true. like, even inside like that toxic relationship, you kind of. Can have like the scenario where you think that person might change, or like you, like you, 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 you see the good in that person, or some shit like that, and think that this might be just like a stage or a phase, or y'all can grow through it. Where, to your peace, logically thinking, it's like nah, you've exhibited exhibited X, Y, and Z traits that let me know that mm, you've seen them red flags. Nah, you ain't, you probably ain't the one. You didn't see them um, red flags, but. You know, that's, you ignore red flags and yeah. you end up in some... And honestly, I think the other piece would be, I think, when does this happen most? I think it happens most when either sex believes that they're reaching up with whoever they're dating. Because then you're, you're more likely to probably... Let stuff um, pass. Let stuff pass because yeah. you feel like you're getting that trophy or that... That guy is worth so much more. Like he's able to provide X, Y, and Z. I said that that's more for that. a woman. Or she's like, bad. She's so bad that I'm. I'm. I'm a. Good, I'm. A, I'm gonna let it slide. Or she ain't got to do this. Or what? Whatever the situation is. That's crazy. Or that's just. A, that's just an attitude. You know, pretty girls just be having attitudes. And yeah, that's attitude. crazy to let somebody slide just because they're cute though. That's like you know, just because she bad. You know, that's crazy. Do you think so? I think that that's kind of like the basis of male-female relationship. That yeah. if she's pretty enough, she kind of is able to like maneuver there's, every there's, single there's every certain single level stuff you can let slide. Like, but like to say not let slide, but then also like, finance millions of dollars into somebody just because they're pretty. I think both of those two things are kind of like equal. What you said? You said five Oh, a girl simply because she's pretty. Like, there, there, there's like the saying, you've never seen a absolutely gorgeous woman in the gutter just riding the bus. It just doesn't exist. Because somebody's coming to save her. To deal with her crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, to deal with whatever comes. Right, right. No Based purely what. off the fact that she looks really, really good. It just, just is what it is. Same, same way. No, that's it's true. No, it's no. extremely rare for a guy to be known to have millions of dollars and not so have and, and have nobody that wanting cares to get about them. Them. yeah yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that, like, fuck, yeah maybe, maybe if you like you a secret billionaire maybe but no nah, that's if you true. have the money the pussy's gonna follow you that's facts like that's that's facts but i mean i guess sometimes you gotta go against you know the human nature for like, facts you know, you can't, well, I mean, can't just always you, see, you, you can't just always like fall victim to your like animalistic, you mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. you know the lower the beast in you. Sometimes you gotta go to like the more human side of you. Facts, but you know that's something to consider. You know, yeah, I ain't got all the answers. You just ain't gonna let a nigga treat you like that. I feel. You. Did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, yeah. You say you're heavy, but I know that this your song, yeah. Baby we Texas, we don't never get along, yeah. We've been rocking with each other for so long, yeah. Maybe that's why it's been hard to move on, yeah. And you change soon. And your mama and your friends, they come to blame too. And you ain't gonna let somebody see my... That was an expensive-ass little blow right there. She destroyed that table. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Woo hoo! I mean, that, that shit hurt, you know. Me. And your friends, they come to blame too. And yeah, I hate to blame somebody to say my name, boo. Every time you 
you hear my name, you wanna drink. Hey, hey, you wanna go out, you wanna get drunk, you wanna get lit. Uh, not the you bad you do everything that you never did. Hey, you wanna get lit. You know what he actually need? He should have had like. I'm saying, what did he do to get Imagine if he just had like the, the, the counter right here of every item she's breaking and just let that bitch keep going up. Cause that's what I see. But my thing is, she doing all of that. Like, what did he possibly do for it to get to that point? Like, even if he like got a whole nother woman pregnant, why don't you just leave? Like, well, like yeah. what's that bad to where she's breaking? Like, she broke the table, she cut the couch. STD. One of the ones that you can't get Ooh. rid of. Ooh. That'd be it. Okay. Then that's a possibility. That's like, what I was going with. If you ask me what, what it could be, <laughs> that's a possibility. Because, like, okay, like, no matter how much money you add up, like, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, get yeah. rid of this. Yeah. You know, but, but I'm just saying, I just saw a video on Instagram where the dude was like, it was him and the girl anniversary, and dude being a little secretive, and he snuck <laughs> out and got a cake for the girl. And the girl went through the phone and she saw old buddy was talking about getting cakes from some chick. And she went and bust his back window. And bro was just like, fuck, why don't you shorty? Why you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, but usually when shit gets to this point. You gotta get it. Get up out of that. When shit gets to this point, you gotta get to the bottom of it. That yeah, yeah, crazy. no, I mean, outside of like, like giving a HIV or I guess herpes and shit like that, um, yeah, it's hard for me to imagine. Dope. Yeah, yeah, but outside of me being crazy, because just volatile, crazy people, male and female. Man, you want revenge, you want to get dick, but you ain't about that life, so you might fuck a bitch. You might, you might break a window, you, you might do some wild shit out of the You want to get dick, but you ain't about that life. Oh, every time you hear my name, you want to drink. You want to go wild, you want to get drunk, you want to get lit. lit. You wanna get crazy, do everything that you never did. You wanna get mad, you wanna revenge, you wanna get dick. But you ain't about that life, so you might fuck a bitch. You might, you might break a window. You might do some wild shit out of impulse. You say that you hate me and we not involved. But you still checking on me, trying to find it all. I know, I broke your heart up. Huh? You know I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? You shoulda listened when it said I was a dog, huh? You shoulda listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? That's what you thought, huh? I let you start, huh? You'll never be the same again, but get him brought, huh? So it's really her fault, though, right? Yeah, but he's very calm to be in that situation, though. He's well, very I think calm. he. I don't think that he's actually there. I think this would be like, uh, what, what's the what's the movies when you got like the? Uh, uh, it was like a narrator. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, narrator. yeah. But like, he's very calm to see his like. Oh, for sure. The house to get in the Oh no, you kind of gotta like take them items out of her, like the hammer out of her hand. And like gently just be like, hey, let's not do that blocker, I guess, from like doing whatever she's doing. I mean, Why you wait for the uh, police to come? And it just depends on, you know, what you done done. But like still, like ain't none of that. Like violence is never the answer, people. Mm -hmm. Like we, we we better than that. We and civil, violent acts. We, but we, she's doing violent acts against like, we, 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 we civilized people. You know, violence ain't never the answer. Let's talk, let's, let's just talk about it. Yeah, let's just talk about it, man. Johnny P P S A. Mental health matters. Is this mental health month? Well, they, they already have me, right? Oh, well, let's just you know. Still oh, matters. Mm. We'll come back to that. I let you start out. You'll never be the same again, but get them brought up. I took your heart and then I put that shit apart. Huh? I fucked you on my dick, you dirty, did you wrong? Huh? I did you wrong. Huh? I hate a fuck nigga, used to be a fuck nigga. Couldn't even blame her if she did fuck niggas You run your bitch through the mud, you deserve that So you can feel it for yourself where yeah, I heard that What goes around comes around, I know you heard that While you was creeping, tell me did it not occur that This nigga sliding in the DMs every AM, every PM Used to be like automatic, she would curve that, that Yeah, so this, this is a good song So, like, it, it's, it's, it's like, the, it's the split perspective It's the other perspective Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think that that's that's kind of like the maturity of men, right? Is that for a long time you operate off that first, like the first verse. And you knew who I was, I'm just doing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as you mature, you actually want to kind of like find something that's a, an actual real relationship or something of substance. Or something, that's worth, like look back. or something that's worth not losing, you know, something that, you know, I ain't right. trying to do that because I got this. 
Right, right. You know, that's the ultimate right. goal. For and that. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and doing that, you kind of start realizing, damn, like, I kind of fucked up a lot of good situations um, just off of being, being an asshole. Um, that's true. Yeah. That nah. happens. That definitely nah. happens. Oh, no, nah, for sure. I think that most men, you can go back and, like, have a list of, like, good women that you did wrong. Just based oh, yeah. off of being too young. Well, that's the whole concept. The one that got away is the whole like mm -hmm. concept in love, you know, for me. Oh no, nah, sure. that's the whole thing about like mm -hmm. that's part of the maturity process for a man. Like you kind of almost, I didn't say you got to, because some of like listen better than others. But for a lot of men, that it take that before you actually like get your shit together. So. Do you think guys that have a lot of options settle early? Some of them do, clearly. You know. Well, who, why do you say clearly? Because I mean, you see, like, young football players, you know, and stuff, get married right out of high school and stuff. You know, dude going to go to go pro and stuff. He's, like, clearly a dude that's... I don't really know of those being inside, like, successful sense. Usually that'd be, like, somebody getting cheated on or, like, different things that happen but then like... The maturation of a guy. Um, not, not all, but there's some dudes. Yeah, of course. I, I, it's I, not I, one I size some, fits all, but... Yeah, no, I mean, I know some dudes that, I mean, if you consider a lot of options have got money and all of that, you know, that have got married early and it works. For, from, from what I can tell on the out, you know, I don't know. To me, it, seems, that's, it always seems like an outlier. Like, I can't say that that's well, like probably, a, a, it's a probably, I mean, it's not the m most common, you know. That's the point I'm making. But right? I'm saying, I do know of. Of course, I think that I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Well, I don't know if I can think of one. Well, no, I, I do. I got one one person for sure that, <coughs> you know, had options and settled early. But it seems like a rare thing that with men, that, that maturation phase kind of like, it dwindles itself, especially now, you know, later into the 20s, maybe early 30s, depending on, because um, I mean, like, I think every guy, to an extent, always has to go go through that, um, the grass is greener phase. Yeah. Where you got to kind of, like, learn yeah. that. No matter how bad, bad short he can be, well, yeah, you I mean, want to see if the grass is greener enough. Yeah. Okay. And then you learn that the grass be the grass for real, but. The grass is green as you water it, green as you make it. That's a fact. All right, that's a fact. Every AM, every PM used to be like automatic, she would curve that. While you was creeping, tell me, did it not occur that? As niggas sliding in the DMs, every AM, every PM used to be like automatic, she would curve that. That was before when you was loyal, now it's so shit. So the profile, and niggas know how to slide a chink in your armor, you been tripping, dawg. You ain't even keeping your promise, you been tipping, dawg. Now bitches wink in your comments, she suspicious, dawg. And now you reaping your karma, she got niggas, dawg. Calling her phone while you gone, and your bitch ass can't even feel no way, cause you doing her the same. Now you know the pain, and we used to be the dynamic duos and flames. And you too proud to see that you hold the blame from all that playing, nigga, we too old. You broke her heart, huh? When you met her, she was young and hella pure, huh? Ain't had no clue that she was fucking with a dog, huh? You never thought you'd see the day that she was gone, huh? But you was wrong, huh? Yeah, you was wrong, huh? Cause now it's like she ain't answering your calls, huh? She VIP, she out here fucking with the stars, huh? Some other nigga got her now, he bout to spoil her. You couldn't spoil her, ain't but you starved her, yeah, yeah. No, I like that. It, it, you know, I like songs that go both ways. It's a uh, dual perspective. Dual perspective. Yeah. Uh, you know, it got cold. The niggas rapping on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good, good. And and to me, the good thing is that this wasn't like them barring up and no shit like that. It was a good concept, and they both did really well at executing the concept. Everybody played their part well. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's was, it was Kobe and Shaq. You know, mm -hmm. uh, everybody did what they had to do to. Get the job done, so I I, I, I like that. Um, you know, Cole a little bit. You know, I don't know if he, you know, delved you know all the way into what I would have said, but it's a good, you know, it's a good. Version. What you would have said? 
No, I think he just, you know, as far as just blaming the man. So, you know, but it, it does speak to that maturity process, though, about, like, with the man. But I thought Cole was going to, you know, rap more, you know, some personal shit about, like, what he might have went through, you know. Oh, you wanted him to, like, go through, like, like a, like a cold, cold person. Yeah, like, yeah. Instead of kind of, like, playing a perspective. Right. Mm. But that's it. No, I, I liked it. I liked it. Just in the sense of, like, it reminds me, like, I don't know, like even Eminem. Like, what's the Eminem Dr. Dre record? Where like it got about Dre? Nah, nah, nah. Um, the one where him and him and Dre were going back and forth, and then they ended up like guilty conscience. There we go, okay. guilty conscience. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Guilty where it was, it was kind of like a little more conversational to like the same. And I guess maybe the video helps, like put inside that exact space to where it's like really conversational. Um, I like it, but I mean, I'm, I'm a Cole fan, so typically most things he, he drop, I be liking. Um, Jordan Lucas, he he cool. I mean, I like Jordan. Jordan can rap real well. His only blemish to me is that he lost to Tory Lanez in that battle. But outside of that, I think he's fire. He, he always make fire remixes. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So Kevin Samuels scale. Okay, I'd probably get it to eight. I'll give it eight. Okay. Yeah. We in the greens. That's yeah, what I, I think they they, they executed. Definitely wouldn't be a six. Like they executed what they did. He's not a six, so yeah. So. Yeah, I wouldn't say nine, ten. Just because I mean, it, like if they added another verse and kind of like went into like some another some other crazy deep, shit, sure. Dive a little deeper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could see that. But yeah, that's a that's a solid eight. Yeah, I give him a seven. Not a seven, a solid eight. Solid um, eight. All right, yeah, it's Quint Young, your boy Johnny P, and this was first listen.